Welcome back, legends. Today, we're taking a deep dive into one of the most essential areas of plant science, understanding how plants consume water, how their nutrient demands change throughout their life cycle, and why tools like EC and PPM nutrient tester pens are so important for measuring what's really happening in the root zone. This guide is strictly educational, designed to explain the scientific principles that influence how plants hydrate, feed, and develop over time. Plants aren't static objects. They grow, adapt, and respond dynamically to their environment. Every week, every stage, and every phase of development brings new demands. As roots expand and leaves multiply, the plant's internal system evolves, raising its need for water and minerals. This expansion is what makes accurate measurements so important, because plants, just like humans, thrive on consistency. Before we jump in, remember, this channel is for viewers over 18 and our content is purely educational. We're not here to promote or encourage illegal activity. In the UK, cannabis cultivation remains illegal without a license. What we are doing is learning plant science and helping beginners avoid common mistakes. Why plant water? Demand increases over time. Water is the foundation of plant life. It carries nutrients, stabilizes cell structure, powers photosynthesis, and regulates temperature. But the amount of water a plant can handle depends entirely on the size and maturity of its root system. When a plant is young, its roots are small and delicate. They simply cannot absorb or process large quantities of water. Overwatering at this stage can cause stress or suffocation because the limited roots are unable to use what they're given. As the plant grows, however, its roots expand downward and outward, creating a dense network capable of absorbing far larger amounts of water. Simultaneously, leaf surface area increases, and with that comes increased transpiration, the process where water evaporates from leaf surfaces. Higher transpiration means higher demand for water intake. Bigger plants drink more because they lose more and use more. Understanding this natural progression is key to feeding properly. Nutrient science. Why mineral strength must rise gradually. Water alone doesn't drive growth. Plants rely on a balance of essential minerals including nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and trace elements. But here's the crucial part. Plants can only absorb these minerals at the rate their root systems allow. A young plant simply cannot handle the same nutrient strength as a mature plant. Its roots aren't developed enough to manage the mineral load, and high concentrations can damage delicate root hairs. As the plant's roots thicken and multiply, its ability to process nutrients increases. This is why nutrient concentration is typically raised slowly over time. Not for the goal of forcing growth, but because the plant becomes physically capable of using and distributing these minerals efficiently. Think of nutrient strength, like food for the plant. You wouldn't hand a full meal to a newborn, but over time, as the digestive system grows stronger, it can process more. Plants follow the same biological logic. Why EC PPM tester pens are essential to plant health? This is where nutrient meters like the pen shown in your image become invaluable tools. EC, electrical conductivity, and PPM, parts per million, meters measure the density of minerals dissolved in water. You can mix nutrients perfectly according to a bottle, but without measurement, you're guessing. And guessing is where most feeding problems begin. Tap water varies significantly from region to region. Some areas naturally have high mineral content, others are almost empty. This means two people mixing the same nutrients into their water can end up with solutions of completely different strengths. An EC pen reveals the true concentration, allowing you to understand whether your mixture is weak, strong or balanced. These pens also reveal what's happening inside the root zone. If the EC reading rises even though you haven't added nutrients, 
it means the plant is drinking water faster than it consumes minerals. This leaves the remaining solution more concentrated, which can cause salt buildup. If the EC drops, it means the plant is consuming nutrients faster than water. These insights are impossible to gain without testing tools. The pen eliminates guesswork. It creates consistency. 4. How water demand changes with each natural plant stage. Now let's break down the general pattern of water demand across natural stages of plant development in an educational context. This isn't instructional, but rather explains biological behaviour. Stage 1. Early seedling. At this stage, the plant has only just emerged. The roots are tiny and sensitive, and they can only drink very small amounts of water. Metabolic activity is low because the plant relies heavily on the energy stored within its seed. Water use increases slowly as the roots begin to branch out and explore the growing medium. Stage 2. Juvenile vegetative growth. Here the plant begins expanding quicker, leaves multiply, branches form and the plant's entire system begins accelerating. More leaves mean more transpiration. More transpiration means more water use. Roots grow rapidly during this stage, creating the foundation for the plant's future. Water demand rises noticeably and the plant becomes capable of handling slightly stronger nutrient concentrations. Always measured, never guessed. Stage 3. Mature growth phase. At this stage, the plant is a fully functioning energy system. It has a large root mass, significant leaf surface and strong metabolic needs. Water consumption can increase dramatically. Nutrient demand also rises because the plant needs more minerals to build larger structures, support thicker stems and maintain cellular activity. This is the phase where stable EC readings are vital. Sudden changes in nutrient strength can shock the system because the plant is now highly active. Stage 4 Reproductive sub sites, flowering phase. During reproduction, the plant shifts its energy use. Instead of focusing on new leaves, it develops new structures that require different mineral balances. Water demand often remains high because the plant is larger than ever and metabolically active. Nutrient needs change again, and the plant may require increased mineral density depending on species. Measurement becomes more important than ever to maintain stability. Part 5. Why watering and feeding must increase gradually. One of the most crucial scientific principles in plant care is maintaining stability. Plants dislike sudden changes in water volume or nutrient concentration. A drastic increase can cause shock because the plant's cells must adjust their internal pressure and balance. Gradual increases mimic the natural environmental changes plants would experience outdoors as they mature. Adjusting water amounts and nutrient strength, you allow the plant's internal systems to adapt comfortably. Consistency prevents stress, and stress is the number one cause of slowed growth, discoloration, and poor overall health in plants. The goal is always predictable, measured changes, not abrupt jumps. Part 6. Why pH is just as important as nutrient strength. EC measures the strength of your nutrient solution. pH determines whether the plant can even absorb those nutrients. If pH is too high or too low, essential minerals become chemically unavailable. This means you could have the perfect EC value and still see deficiencies, simply because the plant cannot access what you've provided. EC and pH work together to paint the full picture of root health. Conclusion Understanding the science behind water and nutrient uptake gives you the power to care for plants more effectively in any legal horticultural setting. Their needs rise gradually with time, and accurate measurement ensures stability. Tools like EC PPM pens remove guesswork, keeping plant environments predictable and safe. This knowledge forms the foundation of advanced plant care, 
regardless of species, environment or method. Nutrient Tester Pen Information And, if you want to understand your nutrient levels properly and avoid all the guesswork, we've added a link in the description to a nutrient testing pen, the same style of ECPPM meter we showed earlier. It's a really useful tool for anyone learning about plant nutrition because it helps you see what's actually in your water before you feed. So if you want to check it out, the link is down below in the description. Legends. This video is proudly sponsored by Spider Pharma, one of the leading names in grow lights and tents. If you're serious about healthy plants and bigger harvests, Spider Pharma has the gear you need. Check out their full range through the link in the description. And don't forget to use our discount code BUDFELLAS at checkout for 8% off your order. Big thanks to Spider Farmer for supporting BUDFELLAS and plant education.